Hi everyone, my name is Maria, I am a concept and visual development artist, and here is the story of creating concept art for the environment. Fantasy worlds are the worlds without horizons, in which whatever you can or even cannot imagine is possible to exist. But no matter how obscure your imaginative world is, it has to have some points of solid matter. The visible connections with the real world, so everyone could imagine themselves in that place, and it looks as natural as the country house of their granny. So let's start with the workflow of creating a fantasy nook. Beginning is always the same – shapes. Basic for character concepting, environment concepting and any concept you do. Circles are followed with a cozy feeling, square for steadiness and sharp triangles for motion. In simple words as it's not the lecture of shape language. And today I'm going to create a house in the cloud sea, the house of a shepherd of the skyfish. The sponsor of the idea – One Piece and his infinite world of places. And treasure island with its mood of free flying. Endless clouds and shepherds for me are associated with motion, so I use sharp sweepy triangles for concepting. The first step of the concept is going in simple black and grey color, and without any details, as the main goal is to find an idea of the place. Also, after a few concepts I dived into some thought drifting. What other houses on this island could be? Some temple, a hall, or just a larger house? It helps to understand this little new world and to see a bit beyond the horizon of the small nook that I'm going to draw. Imagine life on this island and daily life of shepherds. For example, the idea is like shepherd. Shepherd for who? In the cloud sea, cloud fish. What can fish provide? Shepherds are usually deal with sheep. Sheep give wool. So fish have to give something the same in this world. Scale. What is the use of scale? It is cloud sea. The most useful ability is to fly. And here's an idea from Treasure Island. The sun sails. Sails are made of scale. Shepherds collect the scale that is like sun batteries charge under the sunlight. So the house needs a place for sun charging. And then it can be sold for customers in a little shop. And I like these small family Japanese and English shops, so they can be one alike in the house. All these thoughts are flown during shape search, and after sketches are done, I choose one that is the best for the idea. I thought about making some keyframes later from different angles of the concept, so I made a simple 3D model. It is easier to work with some base and don't spend much time with perspective grids. Also, I rendered some passes for shade, occlusion and light too. During modeling it is high time to look for references. Use them a lot for architecture constructions. Sponsor of huge amount of references, Pinterest. Here I wanted to create a cozy house where simple people live and spend evenings with a cup of coffee, watching the sunset on the shore of their farm. So there are a lot of references of cozy nooks, which provided me the information, what details I need. I found this terrace as a perfect idea for a cozy place, and I really liked huge windows, as it is a place for free winds and beautiful sunsets. But I didn't want to do exactly the windows, so they are transformed into a huge balcony. After getting a 3D model, I put it into Photoshop, and here I began to create little things. Sketching in line allows me to change it quickly and don't think about layers, shades and colors. Now it's time for just creating your place. Keeping in mind the main idea, cozy place and the purpose of the building – fish from. So there are charge poles for scale, 
pond for fish folk and where a shepherd can go through his cloud yard and feed his foster needs. And of course a place for the store. Flock needs a quiet place, so they are on the lower level with the main house and the shop is on another level with a trail for customers. Don't forget them, or shepherds can't sell their harvest. When you create a concept for the world, it has to work, not only to look pretty. People in the fantasy world have to be able to use this place for its purpose, and things in it have to have purposes and stories. As your little figure on the table of some fan character, or a picture of you and your dog cat uh, on the phone, they all have stories and a reason to be there. The same with fantasy worlds. To make them real, you have to make them alive. After making a rough line sketch, it's time to choose colors. I start with two, three colors that help me to keep the complicated concept whole. Usually I keep in mind percentages of the golden ratio. Of course it's not the infinite rule, but it is quite useful. So after choosing the main color, just trying to not go too far from these proportions and the concept will stay whole no matter how many colors you put into it. In fact, the same proportion can be applied for everything, detailing and free space in the concept as well. After choosing the color palette, I like dark in fact very much, but I stuck to the cozy one as it was the main course of the concept. I make shadows with help of rendered passes. I make masks from the layers and fill them with one color. There are two color layers for shades and lights. Shades with multiply and light soft light. And after correcting masks, I can change and adjust the color for the whole image easily. Here I add some more details into art. And finally preparing for render and small detailization. Divide the layers for each object group and put the shade and light layer into each one, so they could be independent. Groups consist of one material object or one area. For example, roof one group, wood another group, and all the little things on the terrace are the third. After this, go through all objects with detailed drawing. Usually each object has three layers – main color, shadow and light. The fourth can be the texture for a roof, for example, or a pattern for banners. Some places like pond require a bit more layers, of course. After rendering the concept a little touch for presentation and the cozy place of a fantasy world is done. Hope you found something useful in this short lecture. See you in the next video. Bye!